welcome everybody to South Florida Redemption. This is part of the Redeemer webzine here in Claremont, Florida for the 2011 Southeastern Regionals. And we're here with uh, Cliff, what's your last name? Crossell. Crossell. And he recently won the Type 1 2 player um, event in the regional. And this is going to be a deck tech. So, uh, uh, Cliff, why don't you tell us the ins and outs, the functions of your deck, what make it tick, and, and so on. Like, tell us what cards you're using and such. Okay, so we'll start with the, just the basic base. This is a disciple uh, offense with a Pharisee, with a Pharisee defense. So you got uh, your basic doms. Um, got to have mayhem. Um, um, yeah. I see your main fortress right there, fishing book. Yeah. And then here's I see your foundation of your your disciples, right? I I don't include Andrew, and um, I don't include the guy that bans the John Jameson of Zebedee. Yeah. What's the reason for that? Um, well, with this build, you have. A real emphasis on uh, this artifact, Crown of Thorns, and so it's a, it's a very uh, speed design deck. Um, Thaddeus, you want to get him out as quick as possible, um, and you want as many disciples out as quick as possible to help your Thaddeus James band. So this gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, disciples. Uh, 10, 11, 12, the O3 from the Crown of Thorns. Uh, That's right. That way you can you can block up to a KOT, which is a 10-12. All right. Uh, so, uh, with the with this typical deck, how is like how does it play out? Um, well, this deck can uh, come out very fast, um, but you also have to learn um, how to uh, s what I call slow roll it. Um, I've got sots for defense and a very small defense so the sites are actually a, a major part of the defense to try to stall so you have to manipulate your lost souls with your uh, dominance which you get out with your uh, with your speed uh, Matthew is usually a draw three Pentecost is a draw three reaches a draw three um, and then uh, uh, four D coin is a draw four with Peter in play that's right um, then uh, also you have uh, proud Pharisees a draw two um, pretensions to draw two, and uh, so that's a lot of the speed elements. Uh, Power-wise, you have, of course, Authority of Christ and My Lord, My God yeah. as the two main powerhouses. Kind of like your aggro control here, clearing out the board and just yeah, negating and uh, just starting yeah, a threat. Yes, sweepers and uh, also for a fort protection, so this is your fort right. killer. Yeah. Uh, now with this build, I added uh, Claude E.T. because... Um, you know, ETAOC is a board sweeper uh, for the unexpected victim that uh, seems to place all their evil characters down when they shouldn't. Um, but also with Claudia being blue, and uh, Claudia can ban to any of the disciples. It's male. Yeah, and, and being blue, Abraham's descendant is just broken. So, Why don't you tell us how you break it? Um, well, Abraham's descendant, you can use it as a battle winner, like a negate. Um, also, you can uh, place an evil enhancement on your Golgotha uh, during battle and pick it up after battle. So you recur your evil enhancements over and over. Um, Which is the one that you specifically like to recur? Um, Blom's Disobedience, but I have a, a huge trouble against uh, silver decks, but that's okay because uh, usually uh, younger and less experienced players like to play a really flashy all silver deck. So if that's the uh, case, I usually just have to try to outplay them so I get speed and dominance to outplay the uh, silver decks. Okay. Uh, one thing that I saw you do a lot in, during the tournament was you would use this and then you would recur your authority oh, yeah. of Christ. And then you'd also use your scribe to get back Abraham's descendant to get this back again <laughs> and rinse and repeat. Yeah, this basically makes any of these, uh, especially the two powerhouses, like you basically have two of these or two of these. And then uh, the pass over him is more of a late, uh, I know it's, it's, it's a late tech, I know it's good, but I never really run it. I ran it this tournament and it, per it performed like 
uh, like it's supposed to. It's also a negate. It gets rid of uh, weapons and it also gets rid of curses as well as this also gets rid of curses. So it does everything. This just this is good too. And uh, actually, Matthew can actually get this back over and over again too. So. Okay, sweet. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the artifacts? Why do you have them well, in here? Um, you got your healing. You got to keep these disciples on the board. So. Uh, this healing card, when you play it, it actually goes back under your deck, so it'll come back again. Uh, Chariot of Fire, you know, to anybody that's in the discard pile you want to get back. Um, the uh, Blue Tassels, um, Disciples actually has a weak a weakness against Herods, so uh, Blue Tassels uh, hurts Herods. They'd like to capture a lot, as well as Babylonians. Yeah. So uh, this really hurts Herods and Babylonians. Um, you also have the powerhouse Philip and Bart, Bartholomew, and Bartholomew. Uh, it's a cannot be negated band. It's a search cannot be negated band, and you can't capture. So it's just a beast. Um, so what would you say are some of your all-star cards in the deck? What are some of the key cards that you look for to try to get as fast as possible? Because I see that you run a lot of enhancements for draw. Is it to set up like certain key cards? Like I remember. Uh, fishing boat was really ideal for you. And then fishing boat is more of a late game when you're trying to outrace your opponent to try to get to your son of God New Jerusalem for the win. So really, fishing boat, um, fishing boat is just to outrace, and that you know that's, that's kind of neat. But yeah, end game, you're not you don't have your son of God New Jerusalem yet. You throw all your guys in the boat, and next turn you're drawing however many guys are in the boat minus one, and then. Uh, you really want Nazi early on as quick as possible because uh, since you draw so much, you don't want somebody to reset your hand with mayhem. So that stops mayhem. Um, and then uh, some of the Z-Lot stops mayhem. So you've got two answers for mayhem. You want to try to get out as quick as possible. Um, That's right. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll um, wrap it up here. It, the deck definitely seems to be a, as a solid deck as it took on the crown for Southeast, Southeastern Regionals here and uh, Florida, at least this year, in 2011. And once again, uh, this is Cliff signing out, and all the glory be to God.